Today, Lalalu is going to visit a place that no mortal has ever seen. We are going to discover the world of ancient Egypt. <laughs> and we are going to prove that mummies are not scary at all. Yay! The Lord of the Underworld needs a head. Glue a head of a broken horse to the neck. Nay! You did it all wrong! Don't worry, Anubis. We'll make the right shape with modeling clay. Add eyebrow ridges, a nose, and teeth. Secure the headpiece on the sides and shape the stripes. Add some volume and make a design. Paint the whole figurine black. Let it dry and start working on the details. Draw the ears, then a pair of brown eyes. Highlight the skin. Draw sharp fangs. Use metallic acrylic paint to make it look like the headpiece is gold. <laughs> now we just need the right clothes for a god. Tailors, you got some work to do. Take a piece of fabric. Bend the edge. Attach it like a loincloth. Now we need a second thinner layer. Decorate it with a round metal clasp. Wrap a small cord around it. Black rhinestones shine like precious stones. Let's make a scepter. Put the Egyptian character Ankh. It means life. Decorate a cross with rhinestones. Anubis has a sacred scepter in his right hand. Complete the look with pendants. Make gold bracelets out of foam paper strips. Uh -huh. Anubis is the guide of the underworld. There are a lot of souls in the river Styx. But Anubis is waiting for only one soul. People are saying that Cleo is going to arrive today. Barbie is going to become an Egyptian empress. Remove the blonde hair. Dark hair is much more popular in Egypt. Barbie looks beautiful even without her hair. Cover the head with thick threads. Trim the ends and cut bangs. Cleo's hairdressers must have known a lot of beauty secrets. Her hair shines like silk. <laughs> we need to keep up with Egyptian makeup trends. Outline the eyes with black eyeliner. Apply eyeshadow. The lipstick will be gold, too. Let's make a gorgeous floor-length dress out of sparkly fabric. <laughs> Decorate with a gold belt. Cut a circle out of foam paper and make a cut for the neck. Her huge gold necklace is decorated with precious stones. Add stones to the belt, too. Cleo wears a gold headband with chains on the sides. Everyone in ancient Egypt is amazed by Cleo's beauty. Wow. Add wide gold bracelets to the arms. Now we just need to put on new sandals. It's a shame that Cleo couldn't rule for a longer time. Once, a snake appeared from a pot. It slithered under Cleo's legs and bit her. Snakes are dangerous! Cleo's accessories needed to be removed for the mummification process. Cover the head and the body with a white satin ribbon. Then put the gold accessories back on. Cleo woke up in the underworld. Where am I? Everything looks so strange. Hello? Anubis was already waiting for her. He was mesmerized by the queen's beauty. <laughs> and she fell in love with him too. Their journey continued. 
And soon there were three of them! Make a belly out of a rubber egg and cover it with ribbons. Tie a bow on the back. They named the baby Mummos. He's covered with bandages from head to toe, too. What a cute little mummy! And there's a spider on his chest! Yay! <laughs> Cut a piece out of glittery foam paper and make it bigger than the doll. Cover the sides of the sarcophagus. Even mummies don't like firm beds. Let's make a soft mattress. Cut a piece of foam rubber of the same size. Cover it with fabric and the mattress is ready! Add a few pillows. Make a mobile out of pipe cleaner. Shape it into a circle and hang up a lot of gold sequins. It seems like the baby loves it! Let's build a small pyramid for Mummos. Shape a thick cardboard piece into a pyramid. Hot glue the sides together. Spray paint it gold. Cut out the entrance and decorate it with a pipe cleaner. Add toys, small balls, and a mobile to the pyramid. Momos could play in a small pyramid for centuries! He is a real pharaoh! Anubis is so proud of his son! <laughs> Glue a bead to a decorative cross. Cover it with acrylic paint. Decorate it with accessory chains and style the top. Make a scarab-shaped handle. Glue a spider to a green drop-shaped bead. Just some gold. And it's ready! What a cute rattle! I have a surprise for Momos! Look at your new toy! Only a descendant of a god and a queen can play with a toy like this! Apply hot glue to an accessory chain. Glue on a huge crystal and decorate it with an accessory chain to make a nipple. Hang a pacifier on a golden chain. Momos was riding a camel again and got a little tired. Don't cry, baby! Now you'll always have a pacifier with you! The baby calmed down immediately. Oh, it's a spider attack! Spooky! Oh, the spiders just came to build a swimming pool! Cover an empty lotion bottle with a gold ribbon. Cover the inside with metallic acrylic paint. Glue atop of the magic wand with wings. Fill the swimming pool with spiders. I need to take a bath in dry spiders before I sleep! It's a must! Look! They want to be friends! Although Momos hates taking baths, he loves spiders! Now it's time for a nice quiet nap! Hmm, the underworld is usually quiet, but you still need some rest! Sleep for a couple centuries and then call me! Glue decorations to an empty tube as a support. Decorate with colorful rhinestones. Glue metallic butterflies around the bottleneck. Pour water colored white inside and close the tube with a cork. It's dinner time! Mmm, yummy! Put together a cat figurine. Cover it with a layer of dark acrylic paint. Draw makeup with gold paint. Cats also keep up with Egyptian fashion trends. Add a necklace and gold earrings. Pets love bell noises, even in the underworld. Bessette is her family's favorite. She can't help scratching her behind the ear. It's so quiet here. No one is in a rush. It's so calm. Anubis, Cleo, and baby Momos lived happily ever after in the underworld. 
Like our video, subscribe to Lalalu, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos.